my name is M. Sleasy, Vice President of Politically Active, and this is Miss Melody Falk. She is running for Mayor of Springfield City. And I have a few questions for her today. And my first one is, I like that you care about the perspectives of people speaking in City Council. Um, I think you bring a unique perspective yourself, and I wanted to ask about how you plan to diversify the political environment and promote more unique perspectives like your own, other than, of course, your special people. Other than respecting people. I just think that the best thing that we can do to increase engagement is to get out there. I think it would be great if our city council people attend neighborhood meetings and other community driven activities. I've been involved in a lot of these since my uh, since becoming president of the Galloway Village Neighborhood Association. I visited um, all sorts of different groups, the Northside Betterment Association. Just, there's so many great groups in Springfield, and I think the best thing that we can do is have our city actively engaging, attending meetings, as many meetings as possible with community-driven initiatives and associations. I agree. I like that. I like that. And then I had another question I was going to ask. Um, so I've heard you saying a lot about the good old boy system, to which I fully agree. We do live in a bit of a good old boy system here in Springfield, Missouri. So if you were to be elected, how do you foresee the Springfield city government changing after having my first female mayor? Well, I think that we're living in a day and age that, that it's become commonly known that, that women tend to be go-getters. Yes, And absolutely. they they tend to be goal-oriented for the most part, not exclusively. I mean, there, there are types of people, but I think that I would love to see some some serious goals set yes. and pursued and, uh, and benchmarked. I think mm -hmm. we need to measure our success in the challenges that Springfield is facing. So I think that as a woman, I would just be that type of goal-getter and goal-oriented person that wants yes. to make sure that we're following through and seeing solutions that work for Springfield. I like that. I really do. And do you think that if you're elected as a female into, of course, the position of power, do you think that will open the door for other minorities and other um, groups of less advantaged people in society? Well, I do think that we do need to look at the potential to pay our city council, and that's yes. what it's going to take to open up the doors. Mm -hmm. But I don't think that you necessarily have to be on city council to make a difference. I think yeah. we have tons of organizations in our city. We have 24 registered neighborhood associations. And I know that there's a lot of diversity in the community. And when communities come together and communities engage, then you always see good things happen from that. So I would yes. love to see our city promote more neighborhood association engagement and um, therefore get closer knit communities that can help where they're needed. Absolutely. And then that kind of branches into my last question. I fired up here. I don't even call my phone again. But um, I was going to ask about how you're so, I really like that you are so um, invested in the community and the people speaking and the citizens having a voice rather than the big government. Yes. And particularly after, of course, COVID 19 and a lot of small businesses just getting eradicated from business. How do you plan on helping small businesses come back and helping the citizens get their, you know, be able to work for themselves, do things like that? Well, I mean, I just think that we have to, for one thing, we can give preference to local businesses when mm -hmm. the city contracts. And I think that that's something that we should take a serious look at because a lot of times we go out of state or out of county yes. to hire when we have projects. And I think that we should definitely try to utilize all of our local talent. Um, I think that we should do our best to make sure that we have adequate training for people to work in trades. Yeah. And I would like I to like see that. I would like to see a lot of engagement really in high schools. I have a 21 year old, an 18 year old, and a 16 year old, and they all work. And I mean, I'm talking fast food to farm to lifeguard. So I think that we really need to harvest a lot of our uh, older teens in high school and encourage them to get into our workforce because we have a serious shortage of employees right now and we really need them. So I would encourage any teenager or young person to go out there and take those jobs that really need to be filled. Yeah, I like that. All right.